Elk Grove Village, a quiet town in suburban Illinois. A good place with a strong community. But what could this town be hiding? Over half the town is enveloped in a forest preserve called Bussy Woods. Bussy Woods is named after one of the first German settlers in the area. But what if the name is not all that these settlers left behind? That's where we come in. I'm Maeve, and that's my partner, Jillian. Sarah is our camera woman. She's kind of a skeptic about this whole thing. We are paranormal investigators from Waukegan. We've been tracking an urban legend of Elk Grove for nearly two months now. This is our story. We're at this farmhouse, and there was a beast sighting here, so we're gonna look around. Beast feast right here. Or feast feast. It's, it's wood chips, guys. Beast feast. It's wood chips. It's, it's not the beast. Why? Because it was anything else. Plus, you're claiming it's immortal. It's yeah. old. It's, it's really old. old. Maybe it'll die. Yeah. If humans can eat dandelions, beast can. Imagine too. that the beast can eat dandelions. I mean, maybe that's because the beast is a human. Shut up, Sarah. Shut up, Sarah. <laughs> Beasts love making corn. Alright. Beast did that. Beast obviously went down there and did something bad, so they had to put a barrier. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This keeps going. Water's gotta come from somewhere. Here, Sarah, get your thoughts. Uh, I don't know. It's a lake, pond, creek. Nothing special about it. We're filming it! What do you think, Sarah? It's, I don't know. It's money, but that could mean anything. Like, there's water and dirt. And there's canvas. Could be fishing tarps. But then again, it could be the beast. Yeah. I think it's the beast. Alright, that's a wrap. Nope. There's a, um, a multitude of acorns here, which is proof it's good food for the beast. Of course it's going to choose this place to reside. The rocks are proof that fires are lit here. By the beast, of course. Nutrients. Nutritious. Nu nutritious. Keep There's down. no other possibility. It couldn't have been a bear. There's no bears in Illinois. Could have been a deer. Could have been an elk. Yeah, why would there be elks scampering around in Elk Grove? Are you kidding me? Look, oh, beast track! Yeah, beast claw marks, marks everywhere! Claw marks. claw marks! Who do you think we are? Some teenagers with aliens on their heads! No! no. Look at this! We tore this bridge <laughs> off! The beast did this! Out of control! Oh. How's the fishing season? Up and down. Could possibly. Have you seen the beast? Yes, unfortunately. Where were you? Right here, in this very spot. What did it look like? Black with a red face. Very scary. Okay, it has a red face, a black body, and it, I saw it up in tree. What was your first impression of the beast? It was I wanted to shoot it. What did you see it do? Go by the water. Not at me. They sure nodded at me, I think. What do you think we should do about the beast? Kill it, because I can help you. Yeah, you got a little lucky. He was about to go get his gun. Are you all aware that a beast is in our woods? I was not aware of this. Are you scared? Should I be? Yes. Oh! In recording. Have you had any encounters with the beast? It took my thumb. Only half of it. Now I'm gonna get it back. I got an army. I got this here gun. Come here, soldiers. Ah! We've been looking for it for six years and four days. Ah! There it is! 
I was walking home, and then I saw it. It was in a tree with a red face and black fur, and it started growling at me. It came down and attacked me, and then I ran away. I wasn't very fast, but I ran as hard as I could, and, and it scratched me a little bit on the back of my hand. Have you heard of the beast? <gasps> no, I have I'd not. I'd love to know more. <laughs> the bussy beast has been terrorizing Outgrove Village, Illinois' bussy woods since 1912. Really? Yeah. Fascinating. What, who does he prey on? Yeah. Women and children. <laughs> really? <laughs> and fish. And fish! <laughs> he's really what do you think we should do about it? Um, find Ooh. out if he's real first? <laughs> I believe in you. Go I for it. I believe in you. You guys, <laughs> you guys rock. Stay here. <laughs> Beast isn't real. How do, what do you make of all the eyewitness accounts? They made it up. Why, Why would they, they make it up? They made it up so that fools like you could run around the woods looking like idiots. You're wasting your time. People are saying, telling us, they're telling us, you're just some teenagers with aliens on your hats. You know what? We're you're gonna... just a teenager with aliens on your hats. Wait a minute, is that... So, the false beast was Sarah. We still think it's probably real, but to be honest, we're a little discouraged because... Yeah, uh, it's 10.38 p.m. Uh, Central yeah. Time right now. We are at where the most common bee sightings back in like the 70s. Uh, occurred. Uh, they most of them happened at night, so it's just uh, Maeve and myself, and I don't know. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? What the hell is that?